Hi, thanks for watching my AutoCAD video for piping valve 3D modeling. Okay. So now the first thing, I will create the layer for the valve pipe like this. Okay. I right click over here, select the new layer. The first layer is valve body. I pick the yellow color like this. Then click OK. The second layer is hand wheel. Okay, hand wheel. Okay, the the spelling will be like this. Hand wheel. Okay. Then I pick the red color like this. Okay. The third layer is. Uh, ball things, yeah, for ball things, of course, for the ball things. Then I pick the color gray, the gray color. Then click OK. The last layer is ball. Okay. The color is blue. Alright. So done with the layers. Now, I will proceed to the buff body where I select the buff body layer like this then by using the command polyline like this I click over here move the cursor upward a little bit insert the value 100 then move cursor to the right insert the value 50 move the cursor downward insert the value 50 move the cursor to, to the right insert the value 60 then move the cursor upward the value is 50 then I move the cursor to the right the value is 300 like this ok alright so now I want to mirror this this line to the right hand side ok by using the mirror command so I select the object now I specify the mirror line like this click over here and then I click over here press enter ok alright so now I will draw the line like this I draw the line from here to here ok then I use the join command to join all of the line ok I select the object press enter so the line is connected each other like this ok next I want to draw the line to specify the valve ball size so I decide to to put the valve ball size is 300 ok as you know the valve has the has its ball to allow the flow of the fluid ok alright so now I, will, I want to draw the the body cover over here alright just by using the rectangle command I click over here like this ok then by using the move command I move this rectangle to the to the center of the valve body like this ok now by using the revolve command I will revolve this object 360 ok so I specify the the, revol the revolution line click over here then I click over here so the revolution angle is 360 ok then you see the valve already already revolve to become 3D ok let I show you the 3D view like this so we change to southwest isometric so this is the 3D view of the valve ok now I will revolve this like this so the first firstly I draw the rectangle like this I click here then click here okay by using the revolve command I click to the rectangle press enter specify the revolution line then I insert the 360 degree angle okay then by using the 3d rotate command I want to rotate this okay Okay, I specify the rotation base point here. Then rotation axis like this. Then I, I find the 
find the center like this then I rotate the valve body cover like this ok alright then I delete the rectangle ok ok now I want to draw the hand wheel ok by using the circle command I draw the circle over here with 30 with 30 radius with the radius 30 by using the extrude command I extrude the circle upward with 170 then I draw the line from the center of the cylinder and the, the length of the line is 300 like this ok next by using the circle command I click to the center of the cylinder to the end of the line like this ok next I want to draw the circle with the radius of 30 by using the sweep command I will sweep this circle to this circle like this ok then I will draw the circle once again this time the radius is 25 by using the sweep command I select the circle then I sweep to this line like this ok after that I want to array this cylinder 360 so that it will become hand wheel ok I choose the polar then I specify the center of the array so now it become like this ok ok so you can see the concept to view of the valve ok like this ok I change back to 2D wireframe view now I want to show you how to draw the bolting ok ok firstly I will change the y and x axis like this ok the y the y and x x and y axis like this ok I will draw the reference line over here for the boltings alright by using the polygon command I enter the number of side 6 I specify the center of the polygon inscribe in circle the radius is 30 ok so now by using the extrude command I extrude the bolting to the front by 25 ok then by using the array command I click to the bolting press enter select polar specify the center of array and then it will become like this the complete bolting at the front of the valve so now I, I want to mirror the bolting to the rear of the valve like this ok firstly I change the ok you say it's icon So no origin ok alright so now I will copy the bolting to the rear of the valve ok alright ok I choose the ok like this Then I move to the rear of the valve like this. Okay. So let's see at the at the rear of the valve. Then I want I want to move the bolting like this. Okay. Specify the base point. I will move the bolting with twenty five. Okay. So now let's see the concept tool view like this. Okay. Alright, so done with the complete valve 3D modeling. So hope you enjoy this my tutorial video. So don't don't forget to subscribe and follow my YouTube channel Nazbi Ismail. Also don't forget don't forget to follow and like my Facebook page and F Design and Engineering for more updates and tutorial about AutoCAD 2D and 3D. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.